Hello. <laughs> I'm Mabel Winter and these are my dogs. <laughs> and I'm going to do a Q&A because it was asked for. And there are a lot more questions than I thought I was going to get. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to answer those. I hope you enjoy the background. <laughs> okay, the first one. The first one I get very often, kind of, is how tall are you? I'm 180 centimetres tall, which is in feet is about 5'11. Pretty much 5'11. Tall. <laughs> okay, the next is where am I from? And I'm from England, uh, Yorkshire. That says as specific as I will say, <laughs> so that no one hunts me down. But yeah. Um, what was life like growing up where you're from? Um, I guess it, it's, it's hard to compare. I've never lived anywhere other than where, where I live and where I've grown up. I've been to quite a few other countries on holiday, but I, I've only lived here and it's, it's quite nice. There's so much greenery in England and it's, it's really pretty. <laughs> and we really like dogs here, <laughs> yeah. which is a great aspect because I have these two. <laughs> okay. When did you start singing? I did. I did lessons every once in a while. It looks like one of the dogs is moving. Okay. <laughs> And when I started singing, I, I did acting, singing, and dancing, dancing. <laughs> um, I started a club for it that was called Stagecoach, which was one hour of each every week on the Saturday. And so then, uh, at four years old was when I, when I began singing. And then when did you start dancing? Yeah, same same age as I also did ballet, started it around the same time for a couple of years. And then after I um left both those clubs I did um some commercial dance lessons, stuff like that. You know, kind of on and off ish, but I mostly went into it fully at home learning myself. Um, when is your birthday? It's <laughs> it's coming up. It's the end of the year, so in December. That's all I'll say. <laughs> um, what is your most challenging don dance you've done? Okay, there's more, but I'll answer this one first. Most challenging. Um, there are a lot that I found really challenging. For a lot of Lisa dances are, are really hard for me. Floor moves are really hard. But I think the hardest dance video I have, I have done is Naughty by Irene and Sulky from Red Velvet. It's all the tutting and stuff. I don't think I completed it correctly fully in the video but it's is still insanely difficult and I'm very impressed with them for doing it. And how about your favourite slash least favourite dance? Um, favourite is, is, it's been ever since it's been out and it's an old one, it's, it's called Oh Sorry Ya by Sunni, it's my favourite one. And least, least favourite 
Um, the least is hard because I, I enjoy, I don't really film them if I don't enjoy them. But one of the, <laughs> one of the ones I think it would be shocking for people is that I'm ill, one of my most popular <laughs> dances by Hello Venus. I, I did not like doing very much. It was, it was because of other reasons for like filming it. I was like working with someone who, well like someone who would offer to work with me and give me advice and I just, I really not, it made me so nervous to do it because I'm not used to having someone watch the, the dancers and doing it for anyone other than myself. It was just like the camera like I am now, it wasn't live or anything. One second. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, it was just, it wasn't a good day. <laughs> and the dance isn't like that interesting. I get that people like it, but it's like it's step forward and step back and step forward and step back. But yeah, I guess that's my least favourite. And maybe this one also, I like my redo of it a lot more. I had so much fun doing the redo version of it. But the first time, for Revolution by Alexa, um, for one, like I, I didn't like enjoy doing the steps because I, I don't think I had it in my mind embodying it very well but um, also I, I filmed I filmed three or so outfits for it and they ended up getting deleted because of a malfunction with my card and it was so devastating the outfits were so good <laughs> but anyway <laughs> When did your taste for dance covers begin and what did you like more singing or dancing? Also was the first one. Taste for dance covers. Um, so it began from doing Just Dance, <laughs> the video game on like the, the Wii thing. Um, I, I, did, I did those, like some of those, I really liked it. And I kept just wanting to learn them. And then from, there was a Kill This Love one during lockdown that I learned. And then it led me to, from YouTube to the official dance video of Blackpink. And I was like, I want to try this dance. <laughs> and so I did. And then I found their other stuff. And I did all of Blackpink's dances. Got really involved in it. And then found more and more. And like Mama Moo and... It's the and kept going from them. So it was all thanks to Just Dance. <laughs> um, oh, and what do you like more, singing or dancing? I I feel like um, I find dancing easier to film and to do. I get a lot less nervous dancing. But I feel like I get more emotionally like find it more cathartic singing than dancing um, and what's your favorite genre of music to make choreographies for um a genre uh if i could just say pop then i probably would there's like the ones that i have done that i really liked for artists, I did do do a leap a few times because her songs have like a really smooth beat for for keeping like moving, and it's really easy to do her entire songs and make it have those those rises and falls in it because they just have a great structure for it. And to like Cardi B is amazing to so rap songs, but like n n not all rap songs are good for it because of some of the things like um, if a beat is not have a lot of layers into it, it can be hard to add those extra extra little fun bits into it. But Cardi B song's really good. Megan Thee Stallion 
also amazing for dancers. So it's really just like dance, dance pop, but the next one that I'm making a choreographer for isn't really like that, but it's, it's a dancing song. <laughs> um, what's your favourite dance cover this year? Oh. <laughs> there are a lot to choose from. I've done so many in a year. Um, my my favourite for both turnout and performance, if I were going off that, is is Vengeance by BB. I think it's it's one of my favourites to watch. It was amazing doing it. Like I had water. It was I had water poured over me for the last part. And the whole thing was so like, it feels like it was my natural state to be in, to like, and to have all those different facial expressions I got to do with it. I know that she didn't do as many as I did with it, I think. But um, it was really my chance to, to do something that I really like, that is, that I don't get to do a lot. And it turned out perfectly in my opinion. Um, and how old are you? Um, I'm not going to say, but I will, I will say why, why I, I will not, I don't share my age, is because the reason people ask and what they do with it is they mostly just judge you on whatever, like you're up to, or if you're at a certain age doing something. It's like the, if you're they'll decide whether you're too young, too old to be doing something, your accomplishments, whether they are worth more if you're younger or... It, and it's just like, there's no real reason to know. There's, there's, it doesn't add anything to who I am or what I've done. It's not... I'm not a lot like my age. It doesn't say a lot about me, I don't feel like. But mostly, I just don't like how people keep track and then keep telling you that you can do something or you can't do something because of the number of how long you've lived. So, do you live in the United States? No. <laughs> A couple people have assumed that I am American. <laughs> I'm not. I, uh, I actually find it quite hard doing doing the like American accent for, for some songs. Like it's been it's been difficult pronunciation wise. I do have a strange accent for <laughs> I am not sure I'm not sure why. Um I I mix a little bit because I I don't talk to a lot of people. So I watch a lot of T V but also yeah. <laughs> I fade in and out, but still American accents can be hard to, to do while singing, particularly for me. Um, do you have a boyfriend that I've also been asked quite, quite a few times? Which I don't like how, how much people assume that I'm straight, <laughs> which is funny. But my answer to that is I'm not available and I haven't been for, for a few years. Um, are you still in education? Yes. Um, so what I do, and it's probably this question is probably confusing because of how, how much I upload videos. It probably seems like it's all I really do. Um, but I managed to, to find time to study at home from textbooks and and so I, I went at home so, and if I need to take exams I, I go into and the place for them, but I do all the learning stuff at home between doing all these videos. Um, why do you love K-pop so much? Um, the dancers. <laughs> um, I think that's mostly mostly why. Of uh, the form, the reason I I really clung on to K-pop for it was because of how the dancers were formed and how clean they were and how 
great they were that the artists would like sing and do these like perfect dances in a group. I thought it was it was really great and maybe it's because I have not seen that much of like Western artists being in like a in in bands and stuff doing that clean and like one choreography just together you know just like with Blackpink in a lot of the early videos it's just the four of them no backup dancers and it looks so great and they still like sing each for their parts and everything and I just thought like that's a great way to do things and I, I and it's so satisfying to do it it's so satisfying to to fulfill that like choreography and do it well and so what got me into it is how much I really like that organization unity and how that, that those performances are done and the music's really good too <laughs> um, and we'll this is the last question, by the way. <laughs> and will you do La Seraphim Perfect Night choreo? Yes, it is. It's on my list. There have been so many releases recently. Well, there always are, really. But I, I try and keep up with them along with requests and stuff, mix them in and stuff. So it might, it might still be some months. I'm sorry, but the that just means there are some other new releases that'll come out and requests and everything and moving forward with them. I'm still, I still remember all your requests and everything. I'll make it. So that's, those are all the questions from this q and A. If If there are more that come through afterwards, I'll just respond to them um, in, on the whatever platform they come through on. Um, or maybe if you want I can do another one of these with Douglas in the background and the other one, even though he left. Um, yeah, and if if anyone wants to ask more questions then follow me on things. There was a community post about it to get these questions from on YouTube, there's Patreon, there's um, Instagram, Twitter, all the things you you get it. There's so much social media. It's really hard to keep track, but you you can find me, then you can ask another question. Okay, bye. <laughs>